Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to deploy a Windows update package to Windows 10 device with Microsoft Intune. If you want to deploy a specific Windows update package to Windows devices managed by Intune, you can use the Intune Win32 app management capabilities to deploy n.msu file as a Win32 app. The steps are going to be similar as we have performed in the last video. In the first step, we will prepare the update package as Win32 app. Download the Windows update package which you want to deploy from Microsoft Update Catalog website. Use the Microsoft Win32 content prep tool to convert the .msu file into the .intune WIM format. On Windows 11 device, I have created three folders on C drive. Under MSU package folder, we have stored the update file. As you can see, already I have downloaded the update package from Microsoft Update Catalog website and I have stored the update package under folder MSU package. Already I have created two separate batch file with .cmd extension. Uh, let me show the file install.cmd. We will use this file to install this update automatically. And next we have another file uninstall.cmd. Let me show you that as well. We will use this batch file to uninstall the update if required. Let me close it. Again I want to repeat, make sure .msu package, install.cmd and uninstall.cmd files are stored under the same folder. Let me again click on C drive. We will use Intune apps folder to store the output file with .intune file extension. And last, we will use Intune Win app util folder for the Intune Win32 content prep tool. Already we have downloaded and used the Win32 content prep tool in the last video. Link to that video is also given in the description area. In the last video, we have deployed VLC Media Player using Intune. Ok, so let's prepare the update package as Win32 app. Let's right click on start button and click on Windows Terminal with Admin. Click on yes. First of all, we need to go to the folder where we have stored the Intune Win32 content prep tool in. I have stored that tool under this location. So let me copy this location and uh, let's change the directory using cd command. Let me press enter key. Now run the Intune win app util.exe command from PowerShell. Let me press enter key. It is asking us to specify the source folder. Remember here you need to specify the folder where you have stored that update package with batch files. So let me copy this path and uh, let's paste here. And after entering the path, we need to press enter key. Now specify the update package name. So let me copy the package name as well. Let's right click here, go for the properties. Okay, and uh, let's paste here. So this is the name of our update package. Let's press enter key. Now we need to specify the destination folder where we want to store the output file. In our case, we want to store the output file under this location. So here we want to store the output file. Let me paste here and let's press enter key to continue. It is asking us that do you want to specify a catalog folder? I'm going to type N and let's press enter key. As we can see, package preparation process has been started successfully. In few moments, the .intune win package will be ready on our computer. Ok, as we can see, the process has been completed successfully and our update package is ready to deploy. Let's go to C drive. And here we can see update package is there. 
and if you see the extension of this package is dot intune win file now we can use this intune win package to deploy update to our windows devices using intune uh, let me minimize it uh, let me close powershell and let me close this website as well we need to access microsoft endpoint manager admin center Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Apps. Under By Platform, click on Windows. Click on Add. Click on drop down arrow to select the app type. Here we will select Windows app Win32. Click on select button to continue. Click on select app package file and select the dot intune win file we just created. Click on browse. And we have stored that file on a C drive under the folder intune apps. Let me select the update file and click on open. We can see the name of our package file and the size. After selecting the dot intune win file, click on OK. On the app information page, fill up the application information like name, description, publisher and category. OK, I have updated the name and a publisher information. These three things are required. Now I'm going to click on next to continue. On the program page, we need to enter install and uninstall commands for our application. In our case, we will type install.cmd which contains the installation command for our update package. So let me type install.cmd. And we will do the same for uninstall command as well. Here we will type uninstall dot cmd. This is the name of the script which we have added with our update package file. Make sure that install behavior is set to system. Then we have options to select device restart behavior. Here we will go with app install may force a device to restart. As we are deploying update package, so it might restart our Windows device. Now I'm going to click on next to continue. On the requirements page, specify the mandatory requirements that devices must meet before installing the update. First of all, I'm going to choose the operating system architecture. Let me click on this drop down arrow and we will select a 64 bit. Then we have the option for minimum operating system. Here we will select Windows 10 21 H1. Other options are optional. You can use those if required. Click next to continue. On the detection rules page, configure the rules to detect the presence of the application on client computer. We can choose to add multiple rules. Let me click on this drop down arrow and here we have a two options for rule format. In the last video, while deploying VLC media player, we have used the first option manual configure detection rules to detect the VLC media player installation on our client computer. Here we are selecting the rule format as use a custom detection script to specify the PowerShell script that will be used to detect the Windows update installation on our client computer. So let me select use a custom detection script. Already I have created the PowerShell script. Let me show that script. So you can easily get this script from Microsoft website and also I will give the information about the script in a description area. So this is the script which we are going to use to detect the installation of update package on our client computer. You can use this script and replace it with your KB number and save it as a .ps1 extension. Here I have added the KB number. 
So you just need to replace this number from this script file. Okay. Let's go back to Microsoft Edge. Uh, click on Browse. Uh, select the script which we have stored on desktop. Okay, script uploaded successfully. Uh, here we can see a content of the script file. After configuring the detection rules, I'm going to click on Next. Here we can also specify app dependencies where the applications must be installed before our Win32 app can be installed on our devices. But in our case, there's no need to add any. So I'm going to click on Next. On Supersedence page, we will not configure anything. Simply, I'm going to click on Next. In this video, we are going to use a required assignment option to automatically deploy the app package on our Windows devices. So under Required, click on Add Group to select group on which we want to deploy the Windows update package. For the purpose of this video demonstration, I have created one dedicated group named Taste App Client. Our Taste Windows 10 device is part of this group. So let me select our group Taste App Client. Click on Select and click on Next. Review the settings which we have configured and if you are OK with it, click on Create to add the app to Intune. Wait for the confirmation message. Here we can see application created successfully. But we can see the message, your app is not ready yet. If app content is uploading, wait for it to finish. As we can see, we are getting message uploading the package to Intune. This will take time to complete the upload package depend on the size of the application and the speed of internet connectivity. So I'm going to pause the video recording. Once the upload complete, I'll resume it. So after waiting for around 20 minutes, finally the application package has been successfully uploaded to Microsoft to Intune. So we can see application has been created and upload it successfully in Intune console. Let me close the notifications. Click on Windows Apps. We can see the application is successfully uploaded and assigned to our test device group named Test App Client. Now, to see the deployment, let's go to a Windows 10 device. This Windows 10 device is member of our Taste Device group, Taste App Client. We will perform the manual sync with Intune. Click on Sync to start the sync process with Intune. Since the update size is uh, around 700 MB, so this will take some time to download and install the update package on this Windows 10 device. Okay, sync is completed successfully. Uh, there is no notification about software distribution. So I think we need to wait for the update deployment to complete. Uh, let me restart this Windows 10 device to speed up the process. After restart, let's again sign into this Windows 10 computer using Taste user ones account credentials. Let me again check the sync with Intune. Let me click on Sync. After waiting for around 5 minutes, finally we receive the notification about software distribution. As we can see, MSF Suraj software distribution. Downloading and installing software on our Windows device. Still installation is going on. We haven't received any notification about the successful installation. Let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Uh, let me click on our application. Or you can see Update Package. Under Monitor, I'm going to click on Device Install Status. Here we can see the name of our device labwin10-cli02. Under Status, we can see Installation is Pending. 
So I think we need to wait for the installation to complete successfully on our client computer. Let's go back to our Windows 10 device again. And let me again initiate the sync. After waiting for around 35 minutes something, finally the update is successfully installed on our Windows 10 device. Here we can see notification about the restart. Your device needs to restart to install updates. So I'm going to restart a Windows 10 device. After restart, let's again sign into this Windows 10 device. Okay, first of all, I'm going to check the status of the install update. Let me click on start button. Click on settings. Click on update and security. As we can see, a system is up to date. Let me click on view update history. And here we will find the updates which are installed successfully recently. Under update history, we can see we have one quality update installed on a Windows 10 device. It is installed successfully on 12th January 2023. But the important thing is here. Here we can see the KB number of that update which we have installed on a Windows device. KB 5022282. This is the same update which we have deployed using Microsoft Intune. That means we have successfully deployed Windows update package to this Windows 10 device using Microsoft Intune. Now we also want to confirm the same thing from Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as well. So let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Here, as you can see, status is still installed pending. So let me click on refresh. And as we can see, the status is changed to installed. Let me click on Windows Apps. Click on refresh. Let's click on our update package. And we can see installed for one device. And the monitor, click on device install status. We can see the host name of our Windows 10 device, which is labwin10-cli02. And status is installed. Let me click on our device name. Okay, on table, we don't have anything. Let me click on chart. And here we can see this is the app which we have installed to our Windows 10 device using Intune. So that's all for this video on how to deploy a Windows update package to Windows devices with Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.